A shibboleth is a custom that can be used to identify somebody as part of a group. For example, the way you pronounce Regina Saskatchewan can immediately identify you as a Canadian. And the way I just said it identified me as someone who's not from that province. If you are like me and you have blocked somebody just for having 1,080, 1,488 at the end of their username, you, you know what this means. And increasingly, I have started blocking people who claim that they are blank critical in their Twitter bio or Tumblr description. So I don't think people understand what radical feminism actually is, because it tends to be boiled down to its most outwardly observable traits and not what beliefs underlie them, which isn't particularly helpful. And yeah, a lot of people have gone undercover on Redfin social media, but by the time someone has joined one of those, they already know enough to search for them. So as a former trans-exclusionary radical feminist, I guess I'll start. Radical feminism is based on a very rigid worldview as a whole, where people have to be classified in easily definable categories. One of the foundational beliefs is that men are always violent and abusive, and women are always victims of this violence and abuse. Tied to this is the belief that women are brainwashed to overlook this violence and abuse. And with these as the foundational beliefs, you can see why something like kink, for example, is simply viewed as a system that allows men to abuse women, or why women don't actually mean it when they say they enjoy kink. This belief may seem tangential, but there's a reason most SERFs are also sex worker exclusionary feminists or SWERFs. In this worldview, radical feminists are the enlightened liberators. Women who are not exclusionary are too ignorant to realize they're being exploited, and men are the ones doing the exploiting. And they are also responsible for all of the bad things in the world. That last part is really important when it comes to recruitment. So I don't have any evidence for this claim, but I'm still going to make the claim that there is not a single person in this world who has not been scared, confused, or hurt before in their lives. Rather than begin with trans women are sex criminals out of the gate, Radfems will find these people, which is everyone, and explain what happened to you and say they can help you heal from it. And who doesn't want that? Like, I felt alienated even from other leftists because of, let's just say, unusual reactions to trauma and my cultural background. Someone coming along telling me that what happened wasn't my fault, that they knew what I'd been through and they had the answers to what would help me heal was really fucking appealing. And so every further kink critical idea just seemed like a natural extension of the last one. So of course it made sense. If you turn the heat up slow enough, a frog won't know it's being boiled. And that's why I don't use the words blank critical anymore and view anyone who does with suspicion. Because yes, critical thinking is important. The gender binary should be interrogated. And if you're not comfortable with kink, that's fine. But those specific words, kink critical, gender critical, I think have been ruined by people who absolutely do think they have a moral obligation to step in and save people from themselves. Because remember, rad femmes think women who aren't rad femmes are brainwashed. Uh, saying something like, I'm not telling anyone how to live their life, I'm just being critical and critical thinking is good. When they say that, they very much are criticizing people's gender expression and sex life, all while maintaining that they have the higher ground morally. It's why a lot of them jump to accusations that trans rights activists support bigotry or violence or sex crimes, because the moment that happens, the rad fans get to be the victims and everyone else gets to be brainwashed supporters or evil exploitative men. So unfortunately, at this point, blank critical is a shibboleth for people who are either rad fans or can be easily recruited into it.